In this video, I'll show you how AI is changing app development for non-technical people like myself, but with a spin that I've never shown on this channel. You will see how anyone can build impressive applications simply by speaking their ideas out loud, literally. I'll be using two powerful tools that work together seamlessly. First, we're gonna be using DataButton, which is a text to web app builder that transforms natural language into functional applications with no coding knowledge at all. The second is AquaVoice, a voice to text tool that converts my spoken words directly into the interface, eliminating the need for typing everything manually. Together, these tools create a powerful workflow that lets anyone build sophisticated applications at incredible speed, regardless of your technical background. All right, enough of me talking, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I'm inside of DataButton and let's begin vibe coding our application here. Literally, I'm basically gonna speak into my computer and explain what I wanna build and DataButton's gonna begin building a plan based on that. And we could start building our application from there. So let me just click F5 on my keyboard and begin speaking. We're actually gonna be using Aqua Voice in order to capture our voice and then turn that to text and make it really simple to build our applications by vibe coding, by speaking what we want. So I wanna build an app where content creators can drop voice notes and when they drop the voice note, it essentially breaks that down into multiple things. I want to automatically summarize it with AI. I want it to enhance it with AI, maybe using OpenAI's API. And then I want users to be able to save these to their profile. So think of whenever a user or whenever a content creator has an idea, they could just drop a voice note and it automatically captures that along with any key information that can be summarized as well as build upon that and enhance it with AI. So now what Aqua Voice is gonna do is it's now I'm gonna paste this. This all looks great. It's formatted amazingly and I could just continue with that. So that's how I'm gonna be interfacing with this. I'm literally just gonna be using my voice to speak into this. What I wanna build, that's a vibe coding for you. So let's go ahead and continue on. I could give our agent here in DataButton as much information as possible. However, I'm just gonna start with that. Let's skip this step. Let's skip any of the website inspiration, design inspiration. And now we could choose whichever integrations we wanna to add to our application. So we could add Firebase authentication. It's a native integration. Firestore to store this information. We could add Stripe payments to actually charge for our application. And we could use Firebase for our storage. There's all these different platforms we could use. However, that's what I'm gonna go for in this video. Click on let's start. And now it's gonna begin actually crafting an MVP product for us. And this is going to create a structured plan for us to follow in order to build out our application that we gave it by speaking to DataButton. So this is where DataButton and platforms like AquaVoice make it really amazing when they come together because basically I'm just speaking out in plain English what I wanna build with AquaVoice and then it's crafting a plan with DataButton. DataButton's a bit more structured than some of these other platforms. I love how it actually creates these tasks for us and it actually analyzes what we think we should work on inside of these tasks. So each of these tasks now has a clear and detailed description and it's gonna begin piecing these tasks into subtasks and I'm gonna show you exactly how that works inside of data button. So basically it's suggesting that we start with task number one, which is creating a landing page. Let's just go ahead and create this and click start task. Let that run. One thing I do want to mention is the link to use both these platforms, both Aqua Voice and data button are in the description. These platforms honestly pair really well together. So make sure to check those both out if you're interested and you're finding this video useful. Okay. So one thing about data button is it really thinks through the best way to tackle each of these tasks. So if you come in here, you can see that it's thinking. If I click on think for a moment, it's actually going through, it's creating an observation it's crafting a plan and it's crafting the next steps. And then it goes ahead, it makes those changes and then it reobserves and thinks, okay, is this working properly? Are there any errors here? So if you go in and you wanna see exactly what it's talking about or what it's thinking through, it's really detailed. So you can see the observations here. You can see the plan. It actually went ahead and checked all these off of the plan in this subtask. So it did all four of these tasks. And then there are the tasks it still needs to complete. So right here, it looks like writing the code failed. However, it's now reassessing why that didn't work and it's tackling this task without us having to go back and forth prompting with it. All right, so here's the actual landing page that it crafted us. This is actually pretty cool, guys. So capture voice, unlock ideas, turn spontaneous thoughts into organized AI enhanced content with a simple voice note. For whatever reason, it looks like this little like voice wave here. It doesn't look great. It's not exactly how we would want it to look. So let's just maybe vibe with this and see if it's able to fix this. So the landing page looks great. I love what you tried to do with the little like voice 
voice indicator with the waves. However, it doesn't look fully put together. It seems a bit odd and it's not functioning exactly how we want it to. Can we fix this and just make this look better so it actually looks like a voice wave? Okay, so we're gonna give it that using Aqua Voice. Now it's going to just go ahead and try to code this out for us. So guys, this is technically, I guess what vibe coding is. It's just speaking with our voice and then having AI code it for us. Very interesting, the fact that I'm not even typing. I don't even need to, A, I don't need to write code, but B, I don't even have to type on my keyboard. Pretty crazy times we live in, if you have to ask me. Nice, okay, this looks much better here. This is actually a pretty sweet looking landing page. Let me open the full preview so we can take a look at our application. Wow, that's that's great. Before using AI, imagine making a landing page like this. This would take like hours, especially if you had no coding background or whatnot. This is absolutely cool. This is a great start to our application. Obviously, we need to build a bit more and actually build functionality to our application. So let's go ahead and move on. Let's mark this task as completed. So I'm just gonna come back over over to our tasks page or our plan page here. And I'm gonna mark this as done. So mark that as done. It's now moved from the in progress tab to our done tab over here. Next up, we can just go to our to-do list and do create these other functions here. So I wanna create the voice note recording interface. Let's go ahead and move forward with that. So I'm just gonna click on start task here, preview this, and let's let this thing run. I'll come back when this actually is finished. Whoa, okay, so it's not done writing this code. However, this is the recording interface that data button actually built us so capture your voice notes with our little wave like kind of ui element here so this actually this user interface looks super clean this looks better than i thought it was going to whoa nice okay here we go. Let's actually try this out now after it has finished its thought right here. So, all right, here we go. Here's the interface. This looks absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead and test it. Hey, so I have an idea for a YouTube video where I actually use data button and vibe code to build an application. Um, yeah. Okay, so there we go. We have the user interface of this built. However, it looks like we don't actually have um, the functionality of it. So it's not actually recording this voice note here. It just built the um, user interface. So let's go back to our plan. Let's make sure all this has been completed before moving on. This is really important when using data button. Make sure that before you mark a task is done, everything in here is completed. Otherwise, we might throw off the flow of our building of our application. So complete the voice note recording interface with the following features. Let's come back to our record thing. I have an idea for a video where I use data button to build app. Okay. So it looks like it's not actually, I have an idea for a video where I use. Okay. So it is storing that. It looks like that's all good to go. So let's go ahead and mark that as done. Everything's looking smooth there. Next, what we want to do is let's actually move forward to step number seven and create a detailed voice note view with editing capabilities after I add the OpenAI API integration for voice note processing. So we need to add OpenAI API, which essentially will allow us to take this voice memo or this voice message and then transcribe that using a AI and then even give us a summary um, based on the key points with AI. So that's an important step. I need to go to open AI and actually grab my API key. So let me go ahead and do that now. All right, I got my key. I'm going to paste it in here. Let's click send. And what this is going to do, it's actually going to go into our settings here and it's going to store the new secret. So here's the open AI API secret that I just embedded into our application. So nobody could see that. And we could go, if we want, we could actually create custom instructions for our agent. I'm just inside the settings tab here. So there's a lot of cool things we could do here. But that being said, let's just go back to our preview and see how this is moving along here. All right, so if I'm looking at what our data button agent is actually doing in the back end, it's doing something that's actually pretty technical. It's actually creating a post API endpoint and a Git API endpoint that retrieves the process note. So essentially it's going to post this voice note over to the ChatGPT or the OpenAI API that will then transcribe that with Whisper. And then it's going to get that endpoint to import it back into our application. So if you want to dive into the technicalities of what data buttons doing in the background, it's actually pretty amazing. But being a non-technical person and not wanting to understand everything really, I don't necessarily know everything that's going on in the background, but when you look into it, it's actually pretty amazing how complex this agent or how how complex of a task this agent could actually perform. All right, so it's saying that this is now working. So we should now have the AI summary and transcription with the OpenAI API that we actually included. So now we can come over here and we could actually record and let's test out and see if this is actually working. So I have an idea for a video where I use data button to build an app using AI, but I do it by vibe coding with Aqua Voice just by speaking and building an app. All right, so that should have saved. Let's now click on this process voice note button. And oh, now we have this thing in the user interface now that looks like it's actually populating and generating this. 
So let's give this a second and then let's see if it actually gives us some form of output here as opposed to just like saving the voice recording and nothing else. All right, so here we go. We have the transcription right here. This is just basically exactly what I said as we would expect. And if we come over to summary, you could now see the key points. So the speaker has an idea for a video or they will use data button to create an app. The plan to incorporate Aqua Voice and demonstrate the process through vibe coding by simply speaking to the app. So there's a summary. Obviously this is a very basic voice note and it's not a long one. If we were to drop a couple minute voice note, that summary would look a bit different. And then there's also this enhanced feature which shows the polished content. Content. So it actually even came up with a potential video idea, building an app with AI using data button in Aqua Voice. It came up with an introduction here. It almost came up with like a whole script for us for the video. So it's giving us some ideas, some introductions to data button, harnessing Aqua Voice, and it's even giving us the video structure. So we could obviously customize this as much as we want because this all has to do with ChatGPT and the OpenAI API in the background. So we could just, with some simple prompting, optimize this to get it to format whatever we want for the output. However, this is pretty cool. I just want to showcase this in this video. We could refine it, but I think this is actually pretty cool with the time that we spent on this so far. All right, so now that we got the main user interface and the functionality of our app built with the voice recording, as well as the kind of note enhancement features and summarization with AI, let's go ahead and just make some changes here. Like I'm just going to try to change up this landing page just a little bit. Let's just make this user interface look a little bit nicer. And I'm just going to literally come back over here, use Aqua Voice, speak with this and come up with different cool ideas. I'm not going to be building the full functioning app in this video. If you guys are interested in that, I'll cover that in another one where I showcase data button and actually build back in databases, user sign in with authentication, as well as adding Stripe payments. However, for this video, I don't want to dive that deep. This is more so just for people that are interested to see what this platform is capable of. But let me go ahead and come over here and just basically give this some feedback. All right. So I want you to now work on the user interface of our app. I want you to add some gradient features, something, I don't even know, something just like futuristic, I guess, in the background. I like the black view that we have in the background, but if we could add maybe some purple accents with some gradient hues or something, that'd be great. Okay, so we're now gonna use this prompt, send that, and let's give data button a second here and see what it comes up with, even though this landing page is pretty minimal and pretty cool looking, but I think we could make a bit more changes here if we're getting nitpicky with this. All right, so for whatever reason, that didn't make many changes here here to our user interface. Maybe it's something in the background that we can't really see because it's so dark in the background. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to make a change and ask it to uh, add a light mode as well. So I want you to actually add a light mode to our app that contrasts the colors that we have for the theme that we currently have with the white, the black, and the purple text and whatnot. I want you to add some purple gradients to the white or to the light mode. Okay, so let's give it that and let's wait a sec. All right, so now there's this toggle button in the right hand corner. So we can now toggle to light mode. So that actually looks pretty cool. It's keeping the same theme with the black, the white, and the purple. Text that we have here, if we go to the record section of our application as well, let's take a look at this. So same thing, that's actually looking pretty great. So this isn't a very detailed application. Like we could get way more complex as this. We could charge money for it or we with Stripe payments, or we could even add our Firebase authentication. So it allows users to sign into their profiles as well as store these voice notes to their profiles. However, I wanted to show you just basically what we could build when we combine data button along with Aqua Voice, I'm literally just vibe coding, if you want to call it that, whatever people call that nowadays. But this is something that we built with no coding experience. I have no coding background. And if you're not a technical person, you could honestly build some pretty cool things with these two platforms together. So hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want more content like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, as well as if you want more in-depth videos on Data Button, I have one in the past, a couple of them actually, and I will be continuing to make these, these types of videos. So if you want me to dive deeper into this platform, let me know what you'd like to learn and I'll make sure to showcase that later on. But yeah, thanks for staying to the end of this video. Appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.